from my burner account. Thank you so much here. Super trying to get things going. Uh, do you see Darian Thompson lasting the season as a starter? I think no. At some point, he will end up getting benched. I don't know for who, if it's going to be a Donovan Wilson or a Brandon Carr or a TBD safety. No, I don't think he ends up being the starter. From King J, McCarthy taking over play calling duties this year. If McCarthy takes over play calling, I think it's going to be a disaster. Um, I, I think it is absolutely going to be a problem for the Dallas Cowboys because that means Kellen Moore was so bad, McCarthy took over after he made a big deal about Moore being the play caller. So I'm going to go with no, that does not end up happening. From Viva LaBlaine, God forbid this team's bad this year. What would it take for you to consider blowing up the team if they perform poorly? Knowing that like injuries and stuff could be a factor, if they don't make the playoffs, I'm not saying I would do it necessarily, but at that point, I would consider it. I, I, at that point, I would consider saying, you know what? It just needs to be reset. There are just fundamental problems. Let's tear it all down and start from scratch if they fail to make the playoffs. That's my expectation this year. This is a playoff caliber team. If they don't make it, I, I'm going to be very, very concerned. All right, from Stelios 300, Cowboys. He's subbed. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. People like you are the real MVP. King J, I need the Rams to keep that same energy week two against the Eagles. I will be livid if the Eagles beat them when we couldn't. Um, I, yeah, I get it. Um, I absolutely get it. I, I would be upset too. I'm not really worried right now about the Eagles, though. I am a lot more concerned about what happens if the Cowboys um, lose in Week 2. That's going to be a significant concern. Now, Cowboys masks are still on sale. Every single person going to a Cowboys game Week 2 or whenever, you're going to have to wear a mask. So get the one you'll see some players and coaches wearing from our friends over at Fanatics. Head over to chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. It will take you right into it. It'll take you right to, to that mask to buy. I'll put the link in the comments and in the description. It's chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. For my burner account, any scenario McCarthy doesn't last the season. I mean, yeah, if like they, they lose, if they go like 0-15, they're going to fire him. Um, I, I think it's, it's borderline... 0% chance. There's like .0001. A, I don't think they're going to go 0-15 or anything like that. I think they'll be okay. If they get eliminated from the playoff race super early, maybe. But, I th look, the Cowboys gave Jason Garrett hundreds of chances. I think they would give Mike McCarthy more than one year. So, possible? Sure. Likely? No. All right, from Caleb GZ07. How confident with Matt Ryan throwing 450 yards on a real secondary with Jamal Adams and company just sending some money love? I appreciate that, Caleb. Um, look, Matt Ryan threw for a lot of yards. A lot of those came late, and honestly, that Seahawks secondary did not, that pass rush for Seattle is not good. So the secondary might be good, but the pass rush is bad. It's kind of the inverse this week. The pass rush should be good for the Cowboys. The secondary is not, so... I think Matt Ryan will have some yards. You will need your offense to score this week if you're going to win, and that's going to be the case every single week for this Cowboys team. From Feed21, what do you think about Diggs? I love him. think he could be elite. Uh, so far, like for week one, I'll take it, baby. I'd love to get him some more plays on the ball. Don't miss so many tackles. He made a big one late, though. That, that certainly matters. I thought a really good week one showing. It's going to be up and down. <laughs> He's getting thrown to the fire against the Falcons, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Zeke, I agree. He looked awesome. Uh, I, I thought Slim Zeke was in full effect. I was really pleased with how well Zeke played. I feel great about Elliott for the rest of this season. I think he is going to be a big-time player for the Cowboys. If you thought he was bad last year, you're not going to feel that way this season. As a reminder, we've got everything you could want here around the Dallas Cowboys. That includes we break down the latest news the latest rumors, 
watch parties during games. We do mailbags like this one. And, folks, if we get to 69K during the live, not during the loop, we're coming up on it. I get to slap my, bro my boss, James, across the face. Yeah, can't wait to do that. We are, we are at 68,916. Guys, we can do it. Got over 1,000 watching right now. I know you're not all subscribed. This is the last push for it. Get us to 69K, and I get to slap him across the face. Medeal7, McGovern was a healthy scratch. Is he all hype? Maybe. Here's the thing with Connor McGovern. We've literally never seen him play in the NFL. Third round pick, Cowboys liked him, missed all of year one with an injury, and then you were right. Healthy scratch. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to it. it. It is a serious concern for me because I spent a third round pick on him and I had to get something beyond healthy and active. I think maybe he's help, maybe he's, he's a go this week. We'll see. Troy Daniels, in what week do you see Dallas possibly bringing in Eric Reed for a look? Um, I don't know. I'd like it now. Um, like I don't, I don't want the Cowboys to just roll with what they have. I think Eric Reed would be a great fit on this team. I would do it right now. In fact, especially with the locker room issues around Earl Thomas, I actually think Eric Reed might make more sense, especially with his ability to play linebacker in sub packages. I know most of you guys are going to type in ET. That's fine. Feel free. There is, I think, a real argument though. That's your better off going with ER for Eric Reed, but get your votes in. It's ET for Earl Thomas, ER for Eric Reed. All right, from my burner account, Greg Zerline better not be another Maher. I mean, we shouldn't kick 50 plus yard field goals anyway. Just go for it in most cases. Um, I'm not going to panic on Zerline yet. He didn't miss any extra points, um, he was good in camp, but yeah. Um, missing 50-plus yard field goals sounds familiar because, well, that's what the Cowboys did last year. And we know it would have been a different game had they made that, or if they'd settled for the one inside the red zone. But that topic has been debated ad nauseum at this point, so I'm just going to let that one go. From Ed956, are you concerned about the linebackers? Yeah, I mean, you're, you've lost Leighton Van Der Esch for half the year or so. Sean Lee might be there for maybe two-thirds, probably not. He might be gone for half the year. Jalen Smith looked bad in week one. I don't mind Joe Thomas, but he's not the best. He's serviceable. And with your defensive tackles not doing a great job in week one, your linebackers are set up for failure too. So I am concerned about this linebacking core. I don't think they're that great right now with, with all the injuries, of course. Daniel Milhouse, how about Charles Clay? Delaney Walker, trade for Cameron Bray. I'd explore it. Uh, I don't think Charles Clay is that good anymore. But if Dalton Schultz can't catch again, yeah, I'll, I'm going to go look for another tight end. I think the Cowboys should be doing that right now. Hazuni is our secondary enough to stop Julio and Ridley. The secondary alone is not going to be enough. Those corners, they're, they're not on the caliber of a Julio Jones or a Calvin Ridley. Maybe Diggs or Wuzier can slow down Ridley, and I think Brown or Lewis can stop Gage. There's no one to stop Julio Jones, though. Cowboys don't have that player. But secondary alone is not how you win in the passing game. The secondary's relationship with the pass rush is a, a mutually beneficial and a, a mutually destructive relationship. If the pass rush can't get home, the secondary will struggle. If the secondary can't cover long enough to get the pass rush home, it's going to struggle. So my hope for this Cowboys team, third and longs, they get there and give the pass rush a chance that it didn't really have against the Rams. From Caleb again, any word on Jared Valdir? Uh, as of right now, no. Maybe that changes next week. He was brought in for a workout. The Cowboys will consistently work out players. This is them building out their breaking case of emergency list. I think Valdir is a better football player right now than Cam Irving, but we'll see what ends up happening on that one. Nicholas Frank should have kept old man Witten. Eh, not really. 
um, because Witten didn't want to be a backup. He w didn't want that role for the Cowboys anymore, wanted to get a shot somewhere else. He would have been more expensive. The number two tight end role before injury was just going to be a blocker. Dalton Schultz is a better blocker right now than Jason Witten. I said it. There, I did it. And if you want to upgrade over your pass catcher, get somebody better than Jason Witten. Those guys, I think, are out there. So I don't want to bring back Witten. I'm not interested anymore. Like, he is a, a Cowboy great Hall of Famer, Ring of Honor guy, first ballot, all of it. I love him. Don't get me wrong. But he's not the same guy anymore. I'm not interested. So I say no. I get some of you want to do it. But at this point, I'm not interested. I'm typing in my zero for now. All right, Alicia signs snacks and Eric Reed. Look, we've mentioned Eric Reed a lot. I'm in. I would like to get Damon Harrison. I'm not convinced the Cowboys are. Signing both of them, I'd say is pretty darn low. Signing one, it's possible. I think Damon Harrison helps you against the run. I think you could use that guy. I think that makes a lot of sense for the Dallas Cowboys. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.